Hi, welcome back to another review on the Mighty Max Doom Zone series. In 1994 began Phase 3 of the Doom Zones. Now this is where the sets start to become more technical, and as usual they always maintain the dark horror tone in all its creepy glory. The very first one I'll review in this batch is the Fly. Yeah, this one is a big bluey. Officially called Mighty Max Squishes the Fly. So what we have here is a spaceship in the form of a giant fly. Some really nice craftsmanship here. We got the big butt, the blue body, transparent wings, and the design on the big googly eyes is pretty cool. Has that crinkly surface. <laughs> Opening procedure has two steps. Pull up the blue hatch, then pull up the black one. So what we see is a weird lab-like facility. Has its classic mix of sci-fi and horror. There is three characters here. We got Max. Our villain for this is Fly. Yep, that's his name. He is some weird alien fly creature, who according to the comic strip, uses the brains of his human prisoners to power up his thought control center. His design is a mix of a human and a fly, along with purple skin, and he carries a sci-fi web gun. We have Drax. He's a giant fly with some mutated assets. Much like his master, he is purple, and he can also grab stuff too. Now the set's design deviates from the traditional Doom Zones by being more thin on its geography and having two sides. Color wise it sticks to the creepy black and the dark greenish blue. On this side is the techno stuff. Got the wires and the motor on the bottom and on the top we got the flyers monitors. On the outer part we got a rubber hose tube. You pull it up then you open up the shutters. On the other side, we got another engine. And here is the web cage. It's pretty much the alien hive equivalency. In the back, you see some human prisoners who are in a very bad state. Hmm, a nice little homage to 80s horror. Another part of the set is the demolition machine. The design's very similar to the Scorpobot, being a mix between a mutated creature and cybernetics. Has its razor blade grinder, and a Gatlin gun, and yep, Max can ride it. Now all this weird tech stuff is used in the comic strip. It all starts with Maxie entering the Fly's facility, ready to thwart the Fly's diabolical plan. But the Flyer calls his pet Drax to apprehend Max. Flyer uses hypnotizing power on Max, getting him under his control. But Max was faking it and breaks free. Fly fires his sci-fi net gun and misses. And he accidentally shoots Drax. Max gets on the demolition vehicle and starts shooting down the place. He also destroys the web cage, freeing the human prisoners. The last picture shows the fly ship destroyed, and Max unleashes another victorious one-liner. There was a cartoon episode very loosely based on this, called Fly by Night. It's a bogus episode which revolves around Max and his team searching for a vampire countess, who is able to turn into a giant fly. The story spans from London all the way to Romania. It has very little to do with the official set, but it's a fun watch if you're a fan of 90s action cartoons. Now for closing procedure. Place Fly by his tech controls. Just put him in like so. Place Demolition Machine in the center. Place Max on it. Put Drax on the web cage. 
close the web cage and close the monitors. Yeah. Thank God this fly is made out of plastic and it's not real. Because I don't think there's any fly water in the world big enough to take this thing out. Anyway, the fly is another great addition to the franchise. A perfect blend of sci-fi and horror. And yeah, phase 3 just gets weirder and weirder. And you'll see on the next ones. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the review and I'll see you next time.